Well, it's Friday, so you know what it is, what it do, what it is. I am the Grizz, and welcome back to Yesterday Today. And first of all, I want to say, if you like this content, go ahead and hit the like button. If not, hit the dislike, it's all good. Make sure you subscribe so you can turn on all notifications so you know when your boy is posting. But we got a lot to unpack today that state of play happened, and then we found out about those made PlayStation Plus games. So let's get right into it. All right, so real quick, I wanted to give a shout out to Jedi Fallen Order, officially getting a next gen patch coming this summer. And also, May the 4th be with you. May 4th is going to be happening very shortly in about a week. So, all a bunch of Star Wars games are on sale. And right now, Jedi Fallen Order is off 70%. Listen to me. It's a Souls like Jedi game, but it's actually still kind of forgiving. It's not that harsh. So, I definitely, de look, if I play through most of it, you can play through it. I did not get a chance to finish it because I got it at launch and it was a little buggy and I kind of fell back from it. But then I played just a little bit more since then. This game is absolutely phenomenal. So, what I might do is probably, even though it's on Game Pass and even though I still physically own it, I might want to see what those PS5 features is like because. Well, why not? The upgrade is free. Jump back into it. It's only 70%. Off. This is a very, very fantastic game. If you haven't played it, well, all right. I am very jealous because you're going to be playing it for the first time on next gen if you can wait. Maybe buy it now and then wait until the next gen patch. Who knows? But I'm telling you, go ahead and get it. I highly recommend it. And also a game that might come highly recommended is big shout out to Returnal sitting at an 86 on Metacritic. An 86, a roguelite. A triple A roguelike. This is absolutely amazing. And I'm really, really interested in Returnal, but I don't think I want to spend the $70 because I'm not big on these super huge punishing games. I'm not saying I don't play them, but maybe if this game is on sale, or I can borrow it from somebody or something like that. Yeah, I'll try it out. Um, I really want to try it out first, but if it feels really, really good, maybe I won't spend mine spending my $70 on it. I will say that this game has always looked absolutely amazing. It is basically Housemark's specialty, but in a third-person shooter format because they're good with these type of shoot 'em ups right? These bullet hell type of games. And this game actually looks very fun, terrifying images and stuff like that, but it looks really, really fun. So maybe eventually, not even maybe eventually, eventually I will get into this and maybe I will do it on the stream. But that's it real quick. I just wanted to shout these two games out. All right, lads and lads, so let's get into the news. Here we have our PlayStation Plus main games, Wreckfest, Battlefield 5, and Stranded Deep, all available May 4th. Seems like an okay month for it, you know, I'm not a little too crazy, but if you like those open world survival games, Stranded Deep seems to be one of those pretty games. I'm not sure if it's good as Subnautica, but Subnautica has won plenty of awards, but Stranded Deep I've heard a little less about, and Battlefield 5 is, well, it's a Battlefield game. Those games tend to be very good, and then of course, Wreckfest, which I've never actually played, where well, I might download this one, because I'm interested. I've always wanted to know what these games are like, actually. So, these are your games for the month of May. Go ahead on May 4th, you can get them. May the 4th be with you. All right, here we go. Let's talk about that state of play. First of all, I want to give a big shout out to Among Us. They just keep doing their thing. Now, they're headed to the PlayStation this summer. And of course, with Ratchet and Clank skins in the pet, the, Clanks, the, the Clank skin. Big shout out to them. They gave us a little tidbit of that. And we got a chance to see some Subnautica Below Zero. Those games look like they could be both fun and terrifying. And they seem to be because this is what I've heard from people across the internet. Big shout out to them. That's coming out in just a few months. But let us talk about the star of the show, right? Ratchet and Clank are ripped apart. Ratchet and Clank and Rivet apart. So... This game actually looks amazing. They done stepped up the platform in, in this game. You can, of course, double jump. You got the rocket boots. And then you can run across the wall. And then you can use your your, uh, your hook to, you know, of course, use the grappling hook. And then you also got a dash mechanic. Because with games like this, if it doesn't have a dash mechanic, we don't want it. So games like this will age very well. And this is, of course, both characters have this. But the thing is, Rivet has a prosthetic arm. And, of course, you can have different weapons, and they got a chance to see some old weapons. You got you get a chance to unlock more armor. There's 
uh, other modes, arena modes, and just so much stuff to unlock and open large open world sections. And I like stuff like that because it's not uh, technically open world, it's just larger open sections. And I like to always use the game uh, comparison of Metro Exodus. That is the perfect type of game for me, especially like sometimes these open world, open world games can be just a little too much. So if you give us larger open areas, that's perfectly fine. I'm absolutely, absolutely excited about that. And the game just... It almost makes me want to go get a new TV, right? This, this TV is brand new. I got it for Black Friday just last November, and I just feel like as beautiful as this game is with all of the ray tracing and being able to pull yourself into another universe, this TV is just not worth it. But it'll have to be because what am I buying a new TV just for a game for? I'm not that mad yet. Maybe eventually I will be, but once again, this game looks amazing. And we're going to talk about to these rifts, right? So say if you're on one side of the platform, and you see a rift at the other one, you can literally pull that rift to you and you end up on the other side of it just to try to escape gunfire and stuff like that. This game is, I didn't even need to see this state of play. I was already gonna buy it because it's a Ratchet and Clank game. You're mad if you don't play a, Mac or a Ratchet and Clank game. If you played one, you're going to want to play them all. If you can go all the way back to the PS2 era and somehow make it through those, given the fact that they may or may not have aged well, they probably still a little playable, but and I haven't gone back in a while, and I might. I actually still have those games. So if you make it through those PS2 versions, you're going to want to play through all of them, even the one that's kind of like a tower defense on the PS Vita and made it to the consoles eventually. This game is amazing. The Ratchet & Clank that we got just a few years ago was amazing. It was a reset, reboot basically this is a sequel and we're gonna see more where this one it tells you that basically nefarious is in another world in this world where rivet is uh nefarious is an emperor and everybody loves him and he owns and runs more so this is really interesting i just love how they keep making nefarious come back i can't wait to play this game june 11th it's really really close to bio mutant and that'll be my game for may but that doesn't come all the way out until the end of may so i don't know maybe i'm gonna have to rush bio mutant or put it off to play ratchet and click or rip the part i'm really really interested but all i know is june 11th everything else gets put down ratchet and clank and rivet take priority all right, lads and ladders, that is it for today. I hope you're going into a real great weekend. We just got a great state of play. We saw just enough Ratchet and Clank. I feel like I'm going to pour 50 to 60 hours in this game, and I can't believe I'm saying that about a Ratchet and Clank game because those games tend to be 30, maybe 40 hours, and I think that might be pushing it. But 60 hours in a Ratchet and Clank game where you can mount stuff and get around the world and stuff like that, and they give you reimaginings of worlds from previous games i can't wait to play this game i'm absolutely excited and let me know if any of y'all in the comments have gotten returnal and tell me if you are fascinated with it as everybody else sitting at it 86 on metacritic yeah i might actually i might not actually be able to ignore that one let me know what you think about that in the co comments below lads and ladettes go ahead have a great weekend and keep on gaming this video is finito